Uh, Eric, uh, what can you report uh, from the vetting in the Western region? Thank you very much, Steve. Um, this is the second day of the vetting. The vetting started yesterday, and yesterday the vetting committee chaired by uh, second vice chairman, Mr. F.F. Antu, was able to successfully vet some 13 aspirants from 17 right. constituencies here in the Western region. Today, they are carrying on with the vetting, and they are supposed to vet some 14 aspirants um, from six constituencies. And if you come to the vetting ground, that is the Kingston Hotel somewhere at Pramodo inside Akwadi. The place is swamping with supporters for the various aspirants who are yet to be vetted. I have with me one of the aspirants who is also the incumbent member of parliament for Shamar constituency, Mr. Atto Pamford with me. Good afternoon and welcome to Media Live on TV3 News. Good afternoon. Uh, this will not be your first time you are facing the vetting committee. What different thing are you expecting? Thank you very much, Eric. And I think uh, let me use this opportunity to say good afternoon to all our listeners and viewers. I believe that, you know, uh, like the normal tradition and custom of our party, this is the time that we go through the whole process of not our mandatory for it to become, you know, uh, a candidate for the party. Uh, like you did mention, I think this is also, for me, the third time going on, you know, parliamentary primaries at Bastara. I think uh, just the most recent one for me to become the member of parliament, I think uh, I was able to uh, meet the vetting committee. They will normally be checking about your background, you know, uh, your education background and exterior and your legitimacy to be a uh, contestant on the ticket of MPT in that very constituency. And that I've qualified several times. Three, uh, the two times all I qualified without any. And then the third time, and for me, what I'm expecting from the uh, whole panel is to be able to let me tell them, you know, what are the decisions that I have to be able to implement them to retain the seat for MPC. We know that some areas, there are some petitions against some of the aspirants. Do you, it, do you know of any in your constituency? Well, uh, precisely, I've not heard anything about it now, you know. But uh, I believe in contest, so I believe that it's all. Whoever comes up, you know, and then in my constituency, we are two that we, we were nominated to contest to become an aspirant. And then my opponent, you know, who is also a, 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 a friend, uh, uh, I've contested with him on primary three times, and then... Uh, let me be very frank say that all the time I beat him in the primaries. And then this is the third time. The most recent one, I won against him by 82%. And nothing has changed on the ground. Right, so that's uh, Erica J uh, from the Western region. This is your election command center.